Hey everyone, it's Katie Dula with Yema Mamas, and I'm going to be talking about tinctures. Uh, this is a common question that I get of what is a tincture and how is it commonly used. And so I'm hoping by this video you will be more informed and perhaps less intimidated to use tinctures and maybe even make your own. Now basically a tincture is a, a very um, concentrated liquid form of an herb. Um, it is typically an herb is soaked in alcohol or a different solvent and it's, it's extracted in its most powerful form, most potent form. Uh, tinctures are pretty simple and easy to make and they also have a very long shelf life. Um, and I, I love the convenience of a tincture. Um, as a mom, I don't always have time to make a cup of tea, but I know that I need some sort of herbal uh, aid or remedy that I'm looking for. So with the tincture, I can just drop it in the back of my mouth or add it to my water and off I go. Yeah, so most tinctures are made with a solvent, either alcohol or there's lots of different solvents that you can use um, to make it accessible to kids. Um, if you go to a whole food store, um, you will see a whole aisle of tinctures and you can look through um, what they're made from, whether it's an alcohol or sometimes like a glycerin or some other solvent. Now the two basic um, tinctures that I use in postpartum Specifically are this is called the mother's ease tincture and this is a vital fire tincture. I make both of these um, The mother's ease has motherwort lemon balm and milky oat tops and Traditionally these are used to ease tension anxiety and fatigue and promote relaxation and sustain energy Who doesn't want that? Um, so basically with this you just take one to two dropper fulls in your in your mouth or in water or tea and it's really, really easy. You can kind of see the color, right? And then with the Vital Fire, this is um, white willow and cramp bark. And this I, I typically give to mom, especially if you have multiple children for after pains or cramping. Um, it's, it's used like a, an herbal, like ibuprofen basically. And same thing, same color, you're just gonna put it in one to two dropper fulls in your water, um, really right before you nurse, excuse me, nurse your baby because you tend to have um, cramping right after then. Um, again, really easy. Also, this can be an awesome tincture for menstrual cramps. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. A tincture, remember, is a concentrated liquid extract form of an herb. Um, I will probably make a video on how to make your own tinctures um, soon, so stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions or comments, please, of course, comment below and I'll get back to you. Also, I just wanted to share one of my favorite um, herbalists, Rosemary Gladstar. If you don't know about this book, I will, I will put a link to this. Um, the, this is where I get a lot of my information specific on how to make tinctures, also lots of different herbs um, that Rosemary goes through. And so if you're looking to get into herbal medicine, these are medicinal herbs, a beginner's guide, I would recommend this book. And again, I'll link that below. So hopefully you found this informative and um, have a great day.